You were a judge on the family court for 21 years, Mr Mushin, and why have you opposed this move? Well, I think it's bad policy. I think this is completely misguided. I'm very concerned about the motivation which has brought this about. I'm astonished that they haven't listened to people in the sector, almost all of whom are against this, and in particular, Chief Justice Evatt and Chief Justice Nicholson um, brought this all to fruition. It was a world standard family law system, and this government's just gone and torn it down uh, without any regard to what others are saying. And yet, and yet, is it not better to have a more streamlined system, to have a single entry point? Won't those things be helpful in themselves? Oh, yes, but that should be a family court and it should be a specialist court mm. so that while amalgamating the courts is the right thing to do, it's been done in completely the wrong way. What it should have been is retain the Family Court of Australia and make appropriate judges of the Federal Circuit Court Division 2 of the Family Court rather than fold the Family Court into the Federal Circuit Court of Australia. What's this actually going to mean for a family today going through any kind of breakup, presumably messy breakup, if it's ended up in court trying to sort out custody um, and, a, and a range of related issues? What, what will it actually mean for them? Well, first of all, as this stands, it's not going to make any difference to how quickly their cases get on. This government has to resource the family law system much, much better than it has, and that's the biggest problem. The judges in this court, and particularly in the circuit court, have an absolutely appallingly high workload. It's unfair to them, and it's particularly unfair to the litigants and the children who are the subject of these proceedings. So that, yes, I agree with amalgamating, but it needs to keep, as Malcolm has said quite rightly in my view, it needs to keep a specialist family court there with all of the... Uh, uh, resources which will enable it to take account of the very difficult issues in family law. No, some of those difficult issues are when abuse is involved in a case and we know that one of the foundational or primary criticisms that experts make of this um, legal system is that it's not sufficient protection for children. Um, when, when there's custody involved. It doesn't seem to go anywhere to even e e examining that question. I, I think that's right. I think really what this has done is it's downgraded all of those important issues of, of uh, the best interests of children, of family violence, abuse, gender, gender uh, differences, power imbalances, all of those sort of things need a highly specialised superior court of record to deal with them. And I think what this series of amendments has done is to say something which I think is very negative about the standing of those issues within our society. And I'm very critical and very concerned about that. Can you, can you say that bluntly? Um, what, do you th what are the standing of those issues? So do, do you think that we do not value the protection of children. We do not sufficiently put in resources to look after women or men who might be in abusive situations. Is that what you're saying? Yes, uh, I, th I think what's happened is by downgrading the court, they've effectively um, disposed of the specialist court in this area. This community is saying through the government that it doesn't regard those issues as being important as, in my view, and in the view of vast numbers of people who are expert in this field, as they should be.